Now, if you notice, we have a lot more drills for our legs than we do for our spin and our arm circle. While those are very important parts of our pitch and ultimately throw it, in order to really perfect this pitch and really get a lot of movement and break out of it, this is what becomes the most important part. The first thing that we like to do is cones. For any young pitcher out there who's just starting this pitch, it's really important that you kind of control yourself, okay? That you understand the direction that you should be working in. Really easy to get too much going on at this pitch too soon and not have enough power or control as a result. We're going to set our cones up. This first cone is set up so that she understands her first move as a right-handed pitcher should be towards the left side in order to create that hip tilt or relaxed hip position that we want to have. The next cone is set up for her leg kick. The reason we want to have that there is for those pitchers who like to pick that foot up and kick, she'll kick the cone. You can also put a bucket there instead. And the last cone is her spot that she should step through to. She should get past this last one so that she doesn't cut off that pitch that we maintain that power and good timing on. Should look like this is a sample before she throws it. Don't throw this one. So notice, we stepped to the left of the first cone, we did not hit this cone, and we cleared this cone on the end. Here's what it looks like in a full pitch. Again, pay attention to the timing of when her right foot lands and the ball hits the glove. Make sure the beginning looks like a fastball that we're not tilting or getting that arm circle away, that our glove hand is pointing towards. And if you're pitching inside, make sure, if you're pitching outside, you can really take a look at your ground and check that drag, that we don't have that one line going out, that we have a good leg drag all the way through our pitch. The last thing we want to check for too is that that hand and right knee or back knee are coming through together. We want to have a good follow through in the same direction in good time. Almost as if they're attached by a string. As this hand releases and comes through, so does that back leg. Another one we'd like to do is with our chalk. If you're outside like us and you get an opportunity to be able to put some chalk down on your mound, do so. It'll really help some of those pitchers who have some legs issues direction issues really have a visual of where they should be going. This line is what direction her right leg or her back leg, her power drive leg, should be working in. At all times notice the direction that it's going in and that it is in a continual straight direction line towards the plate. Notice on this one we had a lot of kick. We kicked off, dirt flew, everything happened here. We only disturbed the dirt or the drag or the chalk mark for only half of our pitch. So we need to work on making sure that that leg stays down that chalk line the entire time as we throw. Look at the difference in that one. She got all the way through a line. The chalk was messed up all the way until her slot here where she decided to pick up and step through.